Well, sad news for, for one Wabash Valley church could mean good news for storm victims in Kentucky. This past weekend, St. Anne's Catholic Church in Terre Haute closed its doors. But as reporter Joe Ostrowski tells us, the congregation has still found a way to help others during a tough time. For generations, St. Anne's Church in Terre Haute has been a place of peace and prayer, of service and song. This week, those songs have been replaced by new sounds. The sounds of a church being taken apart. It's the end of an era, but not the end of this church's work. So I believe parish is about mission. So when you end one mission, you begin another, in some way, somehow. And so today is the beginning of another mission for us to help a little church rebuild so they can be on in mission again with the people that they serve. So that church is St. Luke's in Salyersville, Kentucky, a church torn apart by a spring tornado. A church where worshipers were left to pray over rubble. In five minutes, they lost their church, their parish house, their outreach center, and um, their parish hall. After hearing their story, St. Anne's decided to send precious parts of their church to help rebuild. Among those, a pulpit, baptismal font, and other furnishings, along with a refrigerator, freezer, tables, and chairs. It's going to mean a whole bunch to them because. They feel cared for, first of all. They feel that somebody's thinking about them. It also will save them a fair amount of money that they can use for other things that they need. Other parts of this church are getting new life, too. Song books are going to a women's prison, the pews to a seminary. Even the building will become the new Catholic Charities Christmas store, all of which gives parishioners cause for hope. It's, it's a sad feeling because everyone is feeling a sense of loss, but it makes you happy in the fact that you know that it's being repurposed, it's being used for a good, good cause. Causes for the future, built on the past of one Wabash Valley congregation. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Chris James, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Now, plenty of other items from the church are staying right here in the Wabash Valley and are being given to other churches and organizations in Terre Haute.